Emmy from the ET Reviews here and today I've got a sort of special video for the Hackintosh here. Now I was looking for a webcam that fitted for my Hackintosh. I had a webcam that was compatible with Mac, however that didn't work with FaceTime and things like that. But um, I was researching into a iSight camera. Now I actually bought a iSight camera from eBay that was used in a Apple G5 and I converted it to USB and that works perfectly on my Hackintosh. Now I'm going to show you a guide on how to do this so yeah let's get into this. So here we have the piece that I've bought from eBay. I bought it for £9 and it's a Apple G5 webcam. I'll give you a link of similar devices like this. Now you can see I've cut off the end of it. This was a Firewire port that was for a G5. I've cut it off and you can see that there are four wires showing. There's a white, black, green and red. Now that's just really the same as what a USB cable has. So all you have to do is match the wires up. So you can see me um, trimming off the ends. I strip the wires to show the metal. Now, uh, soldering these wires are actually quite difficult because these wires are so small and so really to do this you're going to have to have soldering experience. Now I'm not the greatest at soldering but I still managed to do this and it works perfectly. So as you can see there's my iPhone cable, I had a spare one laying about and I'm there soldering it onto the camera itself, I'm soldering the white wires and uh, basically I'm just soldering all the four wires together now I didn't I haven't done this yet but um, you can also uh, place like black tape or heat shrink over these wires it'll give it a more secure grip together both of them and then um, it'll probably last a lot longer but I haven't done that yet I will surely do that in the future so basically guys you all you have to do is cut the ends of both the wires a USB and the wire of the cable of the camera and then uh, you have to just solder the wires together now the green goes to green red goes to red black goes to black and white goes to white that's just simple what it is you don't need a pin out or anything however I did notice that I, uh, I wanted to actually connect a USB extender to it and um, it didn't seem to find it when I uh, connected it and uh, that's probably to do with the resistance so you'll probably have to add a resistor to it but I'm sure more technical people will be able to do that so really this is just a simple guide on how to do it and uh, for a novice like me I can do it with I did it in about half an hour and then I connected it and it worked perfectly the Hackintosh found it I'll just show you it now so there we have it guys as you can see FaceTime is working now on this Mac and this is my Hackintosh. I'll show you now about this Mac. There's my 3.4 GHz Intel Core i5 and my 8 gig RAM. So there you go, there's my uh, Hackintosh right there. And um, so basically this is just a quick demo showing you that FaceTime does actually work. Everything works, it just reads it as a normal eyesight camera. Now, uh, so if you like the video guys, please like, comment and subscribe and if you have any questions, follow us on Twitter at the ET Reviews and uh, you can post us there. Extended journal and then press options, master boot record and done. Press apply and then it'll partition your drive. Once that's done, I'll just speed.